Hi, friends. We are back, and you know what? We're reading from our book, Fables. We know that fables are just short stories, and they give us a moral or a lesson at the end. Now, today's story, we're going to be focusing and zooming in on main idea and detail. And, of course, let's do a bit of review for making predictions as well as cause and effect. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, the title of this story is called Madame Rhinoceros and Her Dress. So you could either say Madame or Madame, however it is you want to pronounce it. Let's go ahead and look at this picture here. Okay, zooming in on this picture, what predictions can you make about what might happen in this short story? So we know it's about a rhinoceros in her dress. Okay, now, as we know in our last read aloud in this book, there was a small little tiny detail that we missed. I'm wondering if there's any little details in this picture that you can find on um, giving us some clues on what this might be about. All right, let's go ahead and jump in the reading. Okay, Madame Rhinoceros saw a dress in the window of a shop. It was covered with polka dots and flowers. It was adorned with ribbons and lace. She admired it. Admired just means really longed to have this. She admired it for a moment and then entered the shop. That dress in the window, said Madame Rhinoceros to a salesperson. I would like to try it on. Madame Rhinoceros put on the dress. She looked at herself in the mirror. I do not think this dress is at all attractive on me, she said. But Madame, said the salesperson, you are completely wrong. This dress makes you look glamorous and alluring. If only I were sure, said Madame Rhinoceros. Ah, oh, madame, said the salesperson, everyone who sees you wearing this dress will be filled with admiration and envy. Do you really think so, said madame rhinoceros, turning around and around in front of the mirror. Absolutely, said the salesperson, you have my word. Very well, said madame rhinoceros, I will buy the dress and I will wear it now. Madame Rhinoceros left the shop as she walked up the avenue. She saw that people were smiling and laughing at her. Let's put a pause on it. Do you think those people were smiling and laughing at her because they were being nice? Let's go and see and read to find out more. Admiration, thought Madame Rhinoceros. She saw some people who were shaking their heads and frowning. No, those people weren't very nice, were they? Envy? thought Madame Rhinoceros. She continued up the avenue. Everyone who saw her stopped and stared. Madame Rhinoceros felt more glamorous and alluring with every step. Okay, now let's go ahead and make those predictions. What do you think the moral or the lesson of the story is in this story we just read? Okay, let's go ahead and read that. Nothing is harder to resist than a bit of flattery. So our friend Rhinoceros here really wanted that little bit of admiration from others and flattery. So she was willing to put on a dress that she didn't really think was nice for her. And she even thought to herself, oh, these people laughing at me, they must really like my dress. And really, they weren't really li liking her dress, were they? Okay, so now let's zoom in and focus on the main idea and details. So we know we can find the main idea where? That's right, the title. All right, so the title is Madame Rhinoceros and her dress. We know that she really wanted to buy a nice flattering dress. She really wanted that extra little bit of attention, right? So um, what are some details? What really happened in this story? A lot actually kind of went on. Let's see if you can think of any details that go along with that main idea. If you need to, you can pause the video right now, go back and listen to it again. All right, so one of the details is, is that when she first went into the shop, she told herself, hmm, okay, I don't really think this dress is that attractive on me. That was her first thought. But then the salesperson really convinced her to buy it. That, oh no, madame, this is really 
glamorous and alluring on you. So the rhinoceros believed her. All right. So then she walked up and down the avenue and then got some weird stares, right? That she mistaken for flattery. Okay. So now let's talk about cause and effect really quick. I will give you the effect and I want you at home to think about what the cause was. All right. So the effect is that everyone who saw her stopped and stared. What was that effect? What do you think? I'm sorry, what was the cause? The effect was that everyone stopped and stared. So if you said the cause was that, well, she put on a, a dress that a salesperson convinced her to wear that was not really flattering, you were correct. She put on the dress was the cause. The effect is that people stopped and stared. Okay, that is it for our read aloud. I really hope you're enjoying reading out of this book. Let's zoom in on that illustration one more time here. All right. Okay, so that is it. I'm signing 